The ISO file that you downloaded from your SANS portal account is just a large container file. So this file, when mounted, will look exactly like a normal disk drive. To mount that file is extremely easy. So when we're in Windows, we right click it and select mount. And as you see on our left hand side, we now have a drive mounted, drive H, for FOR500 USB. So that represents the ISO that we just right clicked on and mounted. We can now see within it all the files and folders that exist in that ISO. We can now copy these files out just like it were any other drive. Additionally, with some of the larger files, such as a VM for your course, we may wish to unzip it directly from the mounted ISO. This will save us space because we don't have to copy it out and then unzip it. So in Windows, for our SANS classes, we've recommended that you use 7-zip to unzip your large files. This is because 7-zip has a proven track record in dealing with extremely large zip files. So we right-click the file, select 7-zip, extract files. When the next window comes up, we need to give it a location to which to extract the virtual machine in this case. So we'll click the ellipse, we'll find a location for this. In this particular case, I'm going to go to my C drive and I'm going to create a new folder called virtual machines. And select that and select OK. With that, we're going to have a pretty lengthy process of unzipping this file from the ISO to a location on your hard drive. Let this run and when it has completed, you will be able to launch your virtual machine.